or so, something like that. I think my personal favorite on edtech is that it doesn't discriminate. Uh, all humans have biases. Uh, all of our brains are wired. The moment we see someone's color of the skin, yeah. we get to know their caste. We get to yeah. know many things. Different things happen in our brain, and we make judgments. I think the beauty of edtech is, ab gora ho ya kala ho, ladka ho ya ladki ho, SC ho ya. Uh, normal category ho, ap, uh, Indian ho ya American ho, like uh, it doesn't really care. All it cares about is aapko abhi kitna aata aur next kya seekhna hai. Okay. And I think that is the beauty of edtech to literally democratize education, make it available to everyone regardless of caste, creed, gender, income status. Um, and I, I would say that's very powerful because uh, the differences we are seeing uh, in society in India and globally is essentially marginalization of certain people based on uh, any of these pieces. Mm -hmm. And the fact that edtech cuts through this like hot knife through butter, I think is a very powerful tool to, you know, bring equity in education. That's a very interesting one. And if that's a thing about edtech and, you know, what, you're kind of building um if imagine someone watching this podcast wants to work in the education sector or wants to start something in the education sector what are the two big opportunities that you would consider that someone should look at and what are the two big issues that the sector has what would that be you know, uh, Stephen Covey in Seven Habits talked about begin with the end in mind and first things first, right? So picking up from that, first things first is uh, half of grade four in India can't read in their mother tongue language a grade two text. Uh, half of India's grade four can't do division. Um, these are very foundational literacy and numeracy skills that whether you become a doctor, engineer, artist, lawyer, whatever, you absolutely need to do. Uh, Prime Minister Modi in his Man Ki Baat has sort of set a target of 30 words per minute for a grade 3 child. There are different benchmarks uh, that have been set. This is a global problem. So an edtech entrepreneur that solves for what seems basic, but by grade 3, can you get every child to achieve grade 3 mastery of concepts is a very big need. About, you know, 100 million students in India and maybe five times that globally. Um, so that's one problem and one opportunity to solve for. Um, of course, we are trying to solve the rote learning problem, uh, whether you call it 21st century learning with understanding, conceptual clarity. I think that's a big disease uh, and an elephant in the room in the Indian context uh, that's worth solving for. Uh, that Actually, solving this will take care of the employment uh, opportunities because you will just be a, a, a more value creator. Um, I think there's a lot of value in mother tongue language learning because uh, the cognitive load, uh, which means the amount of effort your brain has to put to learn a new topic, mm -hmm. is the easiest in your language of comfort. In your language of comfort might be either your mother tongue language or what's spoken in your uh, mohalla or perhaps even the medium of instruction in your school. 